Gainer as he breaks another one, does Algier. Tyler Algier having himself a half here at the Naval Academy. Tyler Algier runs it off tackle left and scampers it for six. Tyler Algier from 34 yards out, and the Cougars open up on top. All right, joining us live from the BYU Student Athlete Building here on campus, it is Tyler Algier. Tyler, come in, Tyler. There he is. How you doing, buddy? Doing good, and yourself? Doing very well. Uh, let's first of all start with this. Uh, Fontana, California has put a few guys in BYU blue. Give us the Fontana connection. Ooh, um, Fontana's just Fontana. A little small city, small city, or small city, what I, what I think, but it's a, it's a good place to be. Now, we're seeing some names for those who are watching on the screen. In addition to you, Jamal Williams, Sione Takitaki, Devon Blackman. How many high schools are involved here? Did you know these guys before? How much do these guys know about each other, connect with each other? How does it go that way? Um, I'm going to guess all of them knew each other, but I, I, I didn't really know any of them as I was like in middle school or whatever. But uh, they're all big names. They're all making a name for themselves right now. So making the city proud. How many high schools do you have out there? We have, ooh, I would say in Fontana, there's three. No, four. There's four high schools in Fontana. Okay. Uh, you are a, a scholarship uh, player, but you weren't, you didn't come to BYU as a scholarship player. Is that right? Yeah, correct. Okay. What did it take to get that? It, a, lot of, a lot of hard work, hard work and just trusting, trusting yourself, trusting the coaches around you. And uh, yeah, I would say just a lot of hard work and believing in yourself was the main key. From your perspective, Kalani, what did it take for him to get that scholarship? We knew he was special when he first got here on campus. And uh, uh, the coaches talked about him in high school just being a, a dynamic player. And he ran for a bunch of yards in high school. And to be honest with you, I don't know why he wasn't recruited more heavily, but I'm glad that we were able to get him here as a preferred walk-on. Brought him on a trip and, and just really impressed with him and his family. And so, uh, you know, we, we asked him to, to walk on. And when an opportunity would present itself, we told him what it would take to be on scholarship. And he was able to... to do that quickly, and uh, he's a guy that, that that has played a lot of different positions, but um, he's done so many things for us as a team and sacrificed a lot, and, and now I'm just glad that he's our leading rusher and, and, and one of our leaders on our team, so really proud of him. Tyler, when you came to BYU, what did you think your future was going to be position-wise when you got here? Um, I just thought they, they want me at running back. I was just pursue that, but who would have known that they would ask me to play linebacker, but I was grateful for that opportunity and just uh, just be on the field with the guys because I was uh, I was just uh, working hard just to be on special teams, be on the field, and then just having that chance. It was a great opportunity. All right. Does does a defensive mentality, the old linebacker mentality, still pay off for you at running back? Oh, for sure. Like instead of just trying to take the hits, like you got to just attack attack them and give the hits. But now, just have to have that mindset as a running back now. Okay, you've played four games this year, and of the four games, you've uh, cracked the century mark in two of them. You had a big game at, uh, at Navy to start the season, and then another 100-yard game this past week against U at UTSA. What, what matters more to you at this stage? Breaking off a big run, getting some nice numbers, or just simply running hard the same way every time? Or, 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 or is one, does one lead to the other, do you think? I'll say just being consistent in what I can do and just trusting my own line. I love running behind those guys. You know, they make it they make it happen if they don't do it or if they mess up, you know, we'll make them right. That's for all the backs, I would say. Kalani, that number you see there, 7.4 yards per carry. He's the only player in the country right now who's carried it at least 50 times that has a yards per carry north of 7 right now. Yeah, and and he's a you know, he's a big play waiting to happen and uh, we knew that, and that's why we want him running the ball. And I think it's a, it's a, he has a good uh, combo going with Lopini. But Tyler is a very violent runner, and, and you can see in his style he's aggressive. And that's why we wanted to play linebacker. There's not a, a lot of guys that can go even in the same season from playing linebacker to running back and back, at, you know, back and forth. But his football IQ is out there. The guy loves football, and he's willing to, to be physical. And when you have a tough kid that loves football, and, can, and as violent like he is, I think there's a lot of places for him on this football team. Tyler, you're playing uh, 
for not just yourself, uh, you, you, you've spoken about how there are other people you have in mind when you take the field every week. Can you share a little bit about that? Uh, the main one is my grandpa or grandpa family, you know, especially because he has cancer, but just cancer is a, is a big thing that impacts me. Like whenever cancer comes up, it's just like, dang, it's really an, uh, an emotional topic. Just a lot of friends and family that have passed away and all that, but just to just play for everyone who has cancer, play for my family, play for the guys on my team, just play for everyone, just whenever I step on the field. Tyler, thank you for that. I'll say goodnight to Tyler right now. Kalani, but we'll let you, uh, we'll let you take it out with uh, Tyler tonight. Great young man, so proud of him. I know his family is proud of him, and love you, Ty. Thanks again, Tyler. Have Appreciate a great week. Okay.